cut off. Your head, your head's cut off. You cut my head. Cut it off. Well, angle me I mean, we really want to see the meat, right? But angle me up. <clears throat> I can't. I can't on that. Let me see if it's on here, because this is where I was gonna watch it from, kind of. I just really hope that the um, what's it called? The wind. The wind isn't. The w. Yeah. And I'm gonna share it. Oh, the gauge has moved. I'm gonna share it on Facebook. I'm gonna start. Okay. I don't think anybody's on, so. Don't stab yourself. I'm not stabbing myself. These are good clothes. It's about all the gloves you can find anymore. Yeah, everything's out. Everybody freaking out between gloves and toilet paper. Well, let's not talk politics. <laughs> toilet paper is not politics. <laughs> toilet paper is essential. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let me get this posted. Burn, baby, burn. I don't do a lot on Facebook, but I thought I better post it over there. Hey, Tim. I, can you hear us okay? Bushcraft family, hey, hey. I'm going to take y'all over. He's uh, getting everything ready for this wedding. we got to start the meet a day early. So we thought we would live stream it, kind of do something different. But you know what? I'm not able to get up there. Can I tell you why? I got up there earlier, and the trailer tilted. Like, bad. Tilted. We went down. Ridge life. Send hey, some your way. He wants to send some his way. Hopefully, we're going to be doing this at the next meetup. And you said we weren't supposed to mention that. Oh, I did. Scratch it. Anyways, getting this fire going. And we are cooking with some cherry wood. Um, we have some amazing friends getting married tomorrow at the church at four, and they've asked us to cater their wedding. So as our gift to them, we are doing what Patrick does best, and we're going to smoke them some meat. I'm sleeping. <laughs> so he's just going to kind of do it online, guys. Show what he does. I'm just going to stand here and do nothing. <laughs> I'll be there. Ridge Life. Come on, Ridge Life. Come on. How do you want me to do this? We've never done this before. Well, we've never cooked live. Before. We've never cooked live before, right? I'll tell you what, dogs. Get back. You better get on out of here. Yeah. Glad y'all are coming on. Something new we're going to try. I know all this good. We didn't bring a trash bag out for that. Dang. So they bought three of these. We're going to feed about 150 people, which we also have like some bologna. Y'all smoke bologna. We're going to do some hot links. Um, and then all the sides. What you doing? I am trimming out some of not too much. Guys, is the wind too much? Because it's really windy here. Hope not. Ooh, barbecue bologna. Smoke barbecue. Yes. That's tomorrow. Man, when we were in the barbecue trailer, that was my breakfast about every morning. <laughs> barbecue bologna. <laughs> You're so full of bologna. <laughs> That's why I'm like I am. Because you cook like this. <laughs> Oh, so it's my fault. That's why we couldn't both fit on the trailer. <laughs> Man. That, that was kind of funny. Yo, oh, it scared me. <laughs> Don't cut your fingers. Right now I'm just scoring the fat because this is going to be called, this is going to turn into candy. But halfway through, mm, it's going to be good. The, my favorite is this pork. My pork is my favorite. <laughs> I mean, I like a brisket too, but man, the pork's got good flavor. And then he mixed up his own seasonings. Reuses shaker bottles. You got to. <laughs> Sh shaker bottles are expensive. 
What's the purpose of cross-cutting the fat? Oh, he just answered, he said. Sorry, Ridgelaw. A little bit delayed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's just going to get the seasoning down into it, but it's going to leave the fat cap on there because we're doing a vertical smoker today. So that fat cap is going to be like a force field for the fire. It's going to help keep the meat from burning. Yeah, the barbecue trailer has a rotisserie smoker, but today he's using a, a vertical smoker. And there's his mixture, the special seasoning. So Thursday night, Ridge Life is going to be live, and they're going to be trying some hot sauce. I forgot well, what kind. I, th I thought it was peanuts or something. Ah, I was trying to listen last night to his live stream. He posted it. He posted something, so I thought that might be something that you'd like, because you'll be home Thursday night, won't you? Yes, I will be. Yeah, you will be. I wish I could join in with him. <laughs> you don't need to. <laughs> that's someone, what that's what got you. Someone it, will die. That's what got you the way you are now with your colon. Because you all that hot stuff you eat. That's what got me where I am. Where are we going? Well, I can't go up there because it'll fall. One down, y'all. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm going with a really, it's more of a salt, pepper, garlic mix, just a kind of a standard seasoning. Us Oklahomans like our salt and pepper. I like my salt. So does Texas. <laughs> the salt will actually help the meat absorb smoke. It's kind of like brining, it's kind of like a salt brine. But I'm not going to let it sit very long because I don't want it to be over salty. I made us some oatmeal a couple mornings ago. Oh, Lord. Way too much salt. Oh, my, my gosh. I used kosher salt to put in the water. She salt. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, most people do use a binder, but this meat is has been sitting out, and the juices are all over it, so it'll it'll hold on. It'll hold on. What I love about when we cook and when we do these things is we get to cook extras for ourselves. Like if we want to throw something in there, you <laughs> yeah, know, like, like that bologna or whatever, and then eat on it, that's my favorite. Tomorrow is bologna <laughs> and hot wings. <laughs> this wind is not helping on my... I see that. On my seasoning. Dogs, you will get hurt. Stay down. White boy, stay down. And guys, when you're when you're doing this seasoning, when you're doing meat and stuff, if you have a, a fine seasoning like I've got here, don't use a whole lot. <laughs> what happens is I'm gonna get that off the table. Oh, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna leak. Okay. We got a leak issue. We do that off camera. <laughs> yeah. But if you uh, if you have a fine grain seasoning and you put Oh, all over the porch. Really That's okay, we got a water hose. Yeah. We got dogs and they don't cats. don't I don't want them to lick that. That that's they that's just, gonna sound gross. Just be nasty. Don't want that. We'll cut that off. I could go for a fried bologna sandwich to Bushcraft family. <laughs> All right, there I could. There ain't ever anything wrong with a good fried bologna sandwich. We need y'all to like pray for this meat because he's got to go to work tonight and he's leaving me in charge and the last time he did that with the ribs I burnt them <laughs> we don't want this wedding food to be <laughs> ruined mm -mm. Um, and then we're picking up a turkey tonight because we're smoking turkey for a, a um, yeah, we'll office doing, party next week we'll be doing that Monday um, but I, th I don't even know if I finished my thought on the seasoning. Did you? I don't I know. I don't think so I did. But if you use a, a fine grain seasoning, what that's going to do, that's actually going to create a barrier for your smoke. And you won't get as much smoke flavor on your meat. So I always go pretty light. Because during the cook, right before I wrap it, I'll actually re-season the meat. Mm, that makes it good. <laughs> yeah. 
that's just my little trick. So you yeah, just, whole neighborhood's gonna smell good. They're gonna know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, they'll be over here in a little bit. We don't have close neighbors, but we can, now that the leaves have fell off the trees, um, if you guys can see way over there, we can see there are neighbors over there, so, and they can see us. <laughs> And another pro tip, dirty hand, clean hand. Mm. You don't want all that stuff all over your bottles. What's that doing there? See that piece of meat sneak on there? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do a light it's rub. It's windy. I was worried about the fire today. No, that's why we're using the vertical. It's more protected. We used to feed a, our local jail, and uh, about this time of year, we would smoke about 10 turkeys. And there was one year that we had 10 turkeys in it. It was a different smoker. It was like a barrel, big barrel smoker. I don't know. You're, you'll have to. Can you? Do you have a clean hand? Do I have a clean hand? So we're coming up. We're almost to 200. So we got one there. This one's always a little behind for some reason. I think because the, the, uh, when the fire comes out, it kind of circles around. So the, the smoke is going to come out, circle around, and kind of swirl before it actually goes out the stack. <laughs> I'm actually going to shut the stacks down. Yeah, I probably should do that. We'll leave that one open. Yeah. Um, I think I was talking about the the turkeys we had smoked oh, that one year, yeah. and it was so windy. We I couldn't. I was trying to keep the fire going because he was working nights then too. Man, we almost didn't get them turkeys done because of the wind. We, we can't go in this year. They actually, I go in and minister on Monday nights and uh, they lock See, the jail down again because of you don't the want virus. That vein in your meat. We're Someone, talking about two different things, I better hush. <laughs> well, someone's going to get a bite of that and they're like, why is this so chewy? <laughs> Patrick did it. That's another thing, guys. When you're cooking meat for people, your name is on this stuff. So. Yeah. If it ain't do, good, they ain't going to ask you to do it again. Always want to do the best you can. <laughs> There goes my other gloves. Salt and pepper makes it better. Yeah. But you don't want a whole lot of heavy pepper on the pork. Too. Now, if it was brisket, yeah, woo, baby, we'd be loading up on pepper. And I have been contemplating something. As much of y'all know, we love coffee. Absolutely. And... I've been watching a couple of guys that I like, and they have been trying this uh, coffee ground rub. No way. Yep. Really? Uh, yeah. For real. Hmm. What would that taste like? I don't know, but we're going to find out. You're going to make a coffee rub? I'm going to make a coffee rub. Really? Why didn't you tell me about this? Because I just thought of it. Ooh. It's good, Bushcraft Family says. The You've tried rub? the coffee rub? Well, anything with coffee is good. <laughs> I hope the wind's not picking up on this camera. It probably is. What's picking up is my seasoning. It's blowing away. Would you make enough for it? Hey, Pavard Homestead, good morning. Yes, I He's making me hungry, too. This won't be ready till either early in the morning or basically tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we are cooking for a wedding. Huh? I was just updating. My comments went away. There they are. Yeah, you gotta like coffee though. You gotta like coffee. I do like so not everybody that like that likes coffee wouldn't like that, right? <laughs> And see, that's the thing. I don't know if it actually puts a coffee flavor to Does it. Does it put a coffee flavor to it, Bushcraft Family? If you if you do the coffee seasoning. Oh, that dog. I don't like that. I don't like that dog. Something happened bad on, on the place. Do we need to tell them what happened while we're on here? Something bad happened, y'all. It's a nightmare. <sighs> um... We had, our we had, puppies, we our doggies, the ripped the back off of the cage the rabbits were in. They destroyed it. Destroyed it. You guys can guess can, what happened. You can see teeth marks. Really all upset. Over it. Really upset about it. 
don't really know how what we're going to do if we're going to get more or maybe um uh build a higher a higher um thing get rid of the pups it's just really awful and they chase the pigs around they'll get in there and chase the pigs around <sighs> i don't know what we're gonna do with them yeah if they're not careful they'll be finding new homes mm. I, I had a coffee rub on chicken, and you could taste the coffee, but not overwhelming. Mm. That might be something we have to try. We shall try this. I got seasoning on my. You coffee. got seasoning all over your coffee. Here, let me see it. No, it's my coffee. I was gonna clean it off. <laughs> I was gonna clean it off for you. That's all. Is it good? Interesting. That pork butt. <laughs> It's all about the butt. <laughs> nope, shouldn't have said that. No. No, you shouldn't have. It's all right. We can have fun and keep it clean. It's good. Yeah. I want a shirt that says I like big pork butts. <laughs> My mom could make you one. <laughs> she could totally make you one. This is the longest thing, besides the smoking part. It's just the preparing the meat. Mr. Prep. I don't know if you're going to do a bologna live, are you? Because we're going to be pressed no, for time we tomorrow. We won't do the bologna live. Bologna's really a simple cook, so it's not. I thought you were going. I'm going. I don't drop it. So I don't drop it. Yeah. <laughs> God, that'd be awful. I'd have to go get another pork butt. Are we good? This is not a good day for that. One more, guys. One more. Yeah. Have we smoked any cheese? No, but we've talked about it. I we've have, talked about it and talked about it. I have ordered a smoke tube. He's so ordered a smoke tube. We will be smoking some cheese. I forgot to cut it again. No, we've heard it's one. really good. I'm not going to cut this one so they can see the difference between what scoring it does and what scoring it doesn't. You're do. not going to? Mm -mm. Okay. That way you can do like a side-by-side -side comparison. You're just going to take a picture of it? Yeah. To it's score, like, because we can't, we can't be on that long. <laughs> to score or not to score? <laughs> Some people live stream for like, what, 24 hours and stuff? What? I don't know how they do that. Someone's got to sleep, you know? I mean like gamers and people like that, I think. Because remember Cody was like... He's been on for 24 hours. He's been playing games for 24 hours. That's why they get all that game fuel. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm starting to chunk up. Not me. Patrick's not going to be able to go to the wedding tomorrow because he's going to be working too. So me and my kids are going to be doing the catering, which is at our church. So we're going to know everybody. We'll get. We'll have a lot of help. I'm just gonna go with the rest of it. Just do it. Do it, do it all. Real thick. When you put that in there, do you want to show the inside of it? Yeah. I used to stream that long when I played games. How do you stay? I just like how do you stay up for 24 hours? And I don't understand. Well, I, I mean, because you can stay up for 24 hours, but I'm I can't. I get so tired. Here, sweetheart. You want to take the camera? Okay. Well, I can't get up there because it'll fall. <laughs> I don't want to have another incident like we had a while ago. That was awful. <laughs> get some close up of the smoker goodness. I'm going to throw this trash in this. Um... Mm. Oh, look, the door's trying to close on me. Says that someone said it's not hard when you're in Oh, that's probably true. That's probably true. My son plays. He plays a lot and uh, he watches people that play f stream for a long time. What are you doing? Fire. Man, fire. <clears throat> The best part sometimes is um, he will smoke and it'll be like cold and snowy and he'll just sit out by the fire and do his thing. Just bring him coffee when he needs it. 
I can. Oh, Bafford Homestead. I used to drink that long until I passed out. There comes a point. Yes. <laughs> there comes a point. <laughs> uh, for those that are just coming on, we are using cherry wood today, and then we're only going to use cherry wood until the meat reaches about 150 degrees because at that point it won't absorb any more smoke. So then we'll just finish it off with a good oak because it'll produce a good long burn. And, and flavor. cherry wood is expensive. Yeah. Oak wood is plentiful. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Gotta quit singing that. Yeah. Everybody's gonna start clicking off if they hear me. <laughs> now the hardest part about smoking is getting up and down. Oh, I thought you were really gonna give us some wisdom. I thought we words of words of wisdom there. <sighs> well, what are you gonna do? That's done. Well, now we can just both do. Oh, you wanna go grab a chair? Uh, that was my chair. This is my. I chair. know, actually, it's not my chair, this but. Is my chair. Um. Just do whatever you want to do. Bushcraft family used to play games. Can you see <laughs> the comments on there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm cool. I'm gonna go get my coat. Huh? I'm gonna, I'm cool. I'm gonna go get my oh. coat. But you know what? I you don't can, know. You can hear the fire crackling and the smoke is a rolling. That's a good morning. I don't know if the wind's gonna pick up on here. I don't know. So. Grab you a chair. I'm going to get my coat. And a chair. I've got to go get it. Okay. I feel like the, the camera is at a weird angle. <clears throat> I wish it was possible to like talk like where we could hear people. Where they could like voice talk back I guess. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know so what you want to do now. Cause the goal is right now is just to maintain the fire. I want to get to about 250 degrees. Um, I feel like this needs to be right here. Let's see. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm at a weird angle from you guys. And that just turned it really dark. So, so my goal is we're going to let the fire get stoked up, let it get to 250 degrees, and then I'm going to shut everything down to where it will maintain that. I've got some bigger logs that we'll put in once all the once I get a good coal bed going. So for the next two hours, we're not going to open the door. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to let that smoke absorb that cherry wood. And what it should start to do is it should start to turn the meat like a, a nice pinkish, dark I'm red. I'm going to go get a trash bag and start putting that stuff in there because the dogs will want to get up there. Okay. What do you want to talk to people? Well, you're, I don't, I, I can, but <laughs> you know everything. Like this. I, See, everybody should admit it. No, I know everything. listen, scratch it. You can um, see Pepper in the background. You, you know everything about this part. I'm just the helper. She's, she's my sous chef. <laughs> now, I wish you guys could hear that fire. I, I love sitting out here all night. Or actually, it's daytime now, but just, just hearing the fire crackling, knowing that at the end of your fire, there's going to be some good grub. So, a lot of the, you know, when I first got into smoking, it was a couple of years ago, and it, it was. It was just a small little hobby. I just enjoyed meat. I mean, what man doesn't? But um, I started watching some barbecue shows. It already smells good. Yeah, it does. But if you could burn, burn cherry wood, and if people could afford it, because cherry wood's usually like eighty dollars a rack. Rick, rack. I'm thinking food. It's a rack. But um. I forgot where I was at. But yeah, the, the channels that I like to watch. Um, T-Roy Cooks is one of them I like to watch. Uh, Baby Back Maniac and Malcolm Reed, How to Barbecue Right. You know, Malcolm has won 
a lot of competitions and I've got a lot of tips and tricks from him and I don't cook my meat the same way he does but we're different you know that, that's the thing about about smoking meat is is you got to make it the way you like it and uh, you know when we when we started cooking I would take samples to everybody and, and one of the things that people really said was they just like the salt and pepper because they want to taste the meat uh, and that, that's why Texas barbecue is so popular. It's mainly just salt, pepper, garlic. I mean, there's there's no fancy ingredients. You know, God knew what he was doing when he made meat. He put a lot of flavor in there. So, And most of your flavor is going to come from the wood anyway because it's going to absorb into the smoke or into the meat. So if you guys, I don't know if anybody has any more questions about pork butt. Um, we're going to pull it. Uh, once it gets to, to 205, we'll pull it. Um, some of the pork butts were different different size, so the smaller ones, they'll get done about maybe two hours before the other ones will. Um, so what we're going to do tonight is we're going to smoke it all the way through until it hits 205. What well, I'm going to do, because I need to be listening. <laughs> and you can go back and watch this. <laughs> no, you're going to have this to... See, this is what I wanted to do live, so she could go back. What do you say I'm supposed to do? <laughs> Yeah, because you can't text me at work. No, I can't. Well, just on my break, but that's every... Four. Yeah, and I'm going to need you before then. Every few hours, but we'll go to 205. We're going to wrap this pork butt, and we're going to actually wrap it in butcher paper. Just because I love the way the butcher paper leaves the bark. It's nice and crispy. Um, <clears throat> that's, that's my angel. I like it. Where do I buy our meat? Um, I'm not sure where they get this meat from. I actually get most of my meat from a company here in town called Mountain View Meat Company. Um, they are they're a local business and, and they well, they're they're a butcher shop, right? I mean yeah. I mean they're a meat yeah, processing place. Yeah, they have place. a whole yeah. Um, but they do the cuts like if I have a competition coming up or something, I'll call them and they'll have certain cuts and stuff waiting for me. But, but Mountain View Meat Company. Um, Every once in a while, I'll be at Walmart. Guys, always go check out the briskets at Walmart because every now and then they get some really good prime briskets and they're the same price as the select. Which maybe I shouldn't tell everybody that because everybody's going to go about buying them briskets. Buying briskets. You don't want to get up there and you go, go in there. Come here, boy. So yeah, that's where we get our meat is Mountain View Meat Company. Um, they're really good, good people. They've always done us really nice. Anytime we do like a cook for a church or something, or or like for the police department, what I, the re, one of the reasons I like dealing with them is they always donate me some hot bologna, and they give me bologna to eat while I'm cooking. That way, I, I guess that way I don't eat up all of the. What did you bring that thing for? I want to show him the panther. The panther. You want to see the panther? Oh! <laughs> the panther doesn't want to be seen. The panther. This is our big old panther. Anyway, that, I had to get it off Cody's bed because he doesn't like it on a bed. That is the most annoying. Cat. <laughs> yeah. It's a big baby. It's a big old baby, aren't you? Do you want to talk to people? I don't know what to say. I don't know either. I'm hoping to do a brisket pretty soon. I'd like to get some. Ew. That's not pleasant. Is that the dog? Yes. Ew. Animals are disgusting sometimes. Yeah. They're so disgusting. Let's go see what our, our temperature is. Wait. Where's it go? You can't really see on that, can you? Yeah, they were way cheap. I mean, you could get a brisket for like 20 bucks, and now a good brisket is almost $100. And it's crazy. You want to hold the camera for me while? Sure. <clears throat> I guess I could do a walk through of the smoker, right? So this is not our smoker. I would like it to be my smoker. He's wanting to buy it. I'm wanting to buy it, but the funds aren't there yet, so, you know, medical bills, they suck. Yeah. What? So we got... Medicine's high too, like your prescription's expensive. 
we're right at 215 on the upper and we're right at 200 at the bottom so we're getting there we're doing good you can hear it crackling i don't know if you guys can but i can hear it so got, nice sound he says pafford homestead says yes it is i can't afford a brisket <laughs> yeah <clears throat> yeah now, same with chicken wings used to be cheap some of the guys i quit watching them on the barbecue shows because they started going to the a5 the wagyu i cannot spend that's expensive 250 dollars to cook a brisket for you guys on video just to play around with yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just crazy well, maybe, maybe they're maybe they're using all that youtube money all that youtube money <laughs> some of them do make good youtube money yeah, rolling good Ooh, i hope that wind isn't Yeah, you're in trouble, dog. I would love to have a meat sponsor. Wouldn't that be awesome? People do get sponsors, but uh, we're not that big. We're just... <laughs> yeah, not, not yet. We're, we're just a little bitty channel. I would, I would like to be sponsored by a smoker company. That way I could get smokers. <laughs> like, to review and try? Like Baby Back is sponsored by... Arms Robert. Family Homestead, didn't he get a tractor? He did. He did get a tractor, he did didn't get he? A tractor. I just want a smoker. <laughs> <laughs> we just want a lot of things. Yeah, like uh baby. I want a new sewing machine. <laughs> I haven't made a sewing video in a long time. Yeah, meds are horrible. It's you know, I, the, the medicine I take, I take it for 14 days and it's what almost $700. Yeah, it's that stupid. last one was pretty expensive. Um, I think bushcraft. I think we need to throw some wings on the smoker. What do you think? That'd be awesome. I would. I would like to get together with him and just go out for a weekend and just have a good time out in the woods. Have a good time out in the woods. <laughs> what was it? What stays at? What happens at deer camp stays at deer camp. <laughs> the last one, the last little video we did with deer camp. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, that was, that was horrible that night. If somebody ate too much brisket or no, steak. No, steak. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I will, I will do commercials for like Lone Star Grills, just throwing that out there. Oh, she said it. it's not his tractor. They let him use it. Mm. Okay, I see. I would be okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> Get some stuff we're done around Just your house. As long as I'm not making those big payments, yeah. I would be okay with yeah. that. Yeah. We have things we'd like to do, but it would require a tractor yeah. to push some of the stuff I'm not, around. I'm not, uh, not as able-bodied as I was when I was 20. <laughs> now I'm 42. <laughs> um, I, think, I think some chicken wings on one of one of my favorite smokers is my pit boss. I love that thing. Yeah, Crystal got that it's a pellet smoker for, uh, for fathers. Because I can use it too. And I tell you what, <laughs> people want to bash on pellet smokers, but when you work a full time job, and then people at church want you to cook for them on Sunday morning, and you got to work Saturday evening, hey, that pellet smoker. I'm, I'm looking. It I need to look saves. over here. Why you got me? <clears throat> I don't I'm know. I'm watching myself turn sideways. I'm watching comments on here. <clears throat> I can't. Does that help you? Yeah, that way I can, I feel like I'm looking at them instead of, it just felt weird. Yeah. I just realized I was looking at myself sideways and I was like, well, they might not like that either. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't done lives like this in a long time. Mm -hmm. Now the chicken one, chicken wings, we could do pretty quick. Yeah. We, we probably won't do them live. We could probably do just a video. If you pushed them on that, we could do the Tuesday lunch yeah, and do them on the pellet smoker. We'll, we'll do our little baking soda trip. Oh, yeah. What's that channel? It's a big channel. Million Mal views. Malcolm Reed. No, no, no. No, the guy that we watched, the Chuck Wagon videos. We were watching them yesterday as we were eating our oh, lunch. Oh, Cooking with Kent. Yeah, he's got like a million views on his. Cooking with Kent is awesome. We were looking at some chicken brown steak recipes yesterday, so. Yeah. 
Um, oh, chicken fried steak, yeah, homemade. His yes. Name's Kent Rawlings, and he's got a cookbook out that I would love. Chuck if Wagon wants to Cooking. Buy me something for Christmas. <laughs> Hint, hint. Want, yeah. Are you looking at me? Hint, hint. I'm, I'm looking at everybody. <laughs> I don't care who bought it. <laughs> says, my pellet smoker doesn't smoke enough for me, but it cooks great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't get a whole lot of smoke flavor on it. Uh, we got the Pit Boss Oxygen XL. Um, it's good for grilling. I do leave it down on just the smoke setting, and I will let that thing run at 160 to 180 degrees for like eight hours. And that helps get more smoke flavor on it, but it, it, it it's not the same as wood. It's just not. Um, but it does have a good flavor. Let me adjust this camera. Cut some of your head off. My head. Mm -hmm. My messy hair. I think we need to do a review on the pellet smoker. I've had you it think for so? three, what, two years now. We've talked about it quite a bit. Yeah. It's really saved it's, us in a pinch. It's, it's had some ups and downs. Um, we've had a few fires in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And it took me a little while to... I uh, kept looking at it. I was like, why do I keep having grease fires? Well, duh, I had it tilted the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't running out the grease trap. It was running back into the smoker. After two grease fires, you would think... And then it's like that aha moment where you're like, oh, I'm stupid. You're not stupid. You're just learning. <laughs> learning experience. No, I, I, it's on an angle, and I need yeah. to. I need to prop up the backside. I need to so. clean the leaves out from behind there. Yeah, leaves are everywhere right now. I'm not sure how much longer we should stay on here. I don't know, babe. We're just rolling smoke now. <laughs> yeah, and it smells good. I wish you guys could feel it, like the the chill. It's not really a chill. It's just kind of a crisp. In the air, yeah, and the, the smoke day. it smells so good. Um, it's really a good day. I should, I should probably get my boat. so happy Friday, y'all. Happy Friday, happy smoke day. <laughs> Dogs are enjoying it, the so, chickens are enjoying it. If you guys would like to see something cooked in the smoker, like brisket, ribs, I do have a rib video that we're going to do come out because we got to redo some of our older see videos. What the dog's doing it, just come like creeping through the camera it's just red shirt friday <laughs> wait red shirt what? no it's on did you get the thing yet oh red shirt friday what is red shirt friday that's the thing at work we used to do at Valdor. all the bosses had to wear a red shirt hey thank you in this place with sean hey hey wait my comments went away sorry Ooh, can uh I want to see that red. Finishing work on my American flag end table, thin red line this time. Ooh, we got ours flowing right back there. See it breezing in the wind. Right I would like to see that. That's my favorite thing when I pull up our driveway is that American flag in the it's, in the sky. And it's only because of everybody that's in the military that we can do stuff like this. Remember everyone, what'd he say? We are, Comments went away. We are very, very pro. Everyone deployed. Yeah, we're, yes, we're okay. pro military, we're pro police. If someone don't like it, I don't care. <laughs> we do love our country. Some of my best friends are actually police officers. So. Yep. They're reserve officers. Some of my good friends are in the military and they're Yep. They've been hurt and they're dealing with stuff, so when people disrespect them it really chaps my backside. Yep. You cooked for a guy that was going off last mm -hmm. year. You you cooked his yeah, we deployment cooked his, dinner, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the way, all, the way the society is, the way they disrespect people is just... It's not American. Bushcraft family's son is getting deployed to, to uh, Kuwait. Oh, wow. Uh, Bushcraft, I, I wish you knew your first name, but... I like saying your channel names, that way people can hear yeah, it. Yeah, the but, replay. Um, from our family to yours, uh, thank you for your son. Thank yes. you for, for, for his service and... And for your guys' service, too, because it's a sacrifice on your guys' part. Um, it's a sacrifice for the whole family. And we love you guys, and we, we deeply appreciate what you're doing. What are you doing, Panther? I did a time lapse of the thin green line. People said that I, I would love wanted to, get to one see of the whole channels. process. Oh, we're going to have to go to his channel and look at that. Yeah. Cool. Okay, He's awesome. In the Army, good. 
it, that was that's one of my big I, th I guess look back regrets if I could do something different I would have I would have joined um, but you would have been a different person too I think your life would have been a lot different yeah I went a different path I, I went the path of drugs and alcohol and uh, yeah so much would have rather joined the army but God's saving grace brought you to this place right now in this moment. Look at my wife back there rhyming. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. It just happened. Let's do an update on the smoker because okay. our temperatures are coming up. Looks like my cat. Oh, the Black Panther right there. <laughs> 19 and a half years Ooh, air wow. for me. Wow. Man, thank you. Thank wow. you so much. I, I squatted back down because I thought I'd be on. I'm used to the, to the, uh, what's that thing called? I don't know. You, the webcam. Webcam. Yeah. I'm used to the webcam being up there, but I wanted to take a moment and, and to tell in this place with Sean, uh, thank you um, from our family to yours. Uh, 19 and a half years. I can't yeah. imagine the things you've seen, the things you've done. Um, thank you. Yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't ever feel like enough. Like that's enough. Um, yeah. We do a 9-11 service in September where we feed all first responders. I wish At you the guys, church. I wish we could get together and, and I could just cook you guys dinner and we could sit and talk. Man. Hearing the story. <laughs> yeah, I just... <clears throat> Because and and we do nursing home service. We well we used to yeah, yeah which happened in a, yeah. Um, we haven't done anything this whole year. And it always killed me seeing all the old guys in the background, and they would have their military hats on. Yeah. And they'd be all alone. And, and nobody would come visit nobody them. Nobody ever come visit mm -mm. them. And we we're only allowed to once a month, and that's it's it's, it's a, a sad thing. It's, it's horrible the way we treat people in this country. So let's let's check on this smoke. I could open it up, but we're not going to check the temperature. Do you want to take it or? Yeah. Because, yeah. I can put it on the All right. We're running almost at 250. We're at 225 right here, so that's good. Look at that fire down there. Can you see that? Can they see that? I think that's my favorite. It's watching the fire. It. Can't really see it, can you? Uh, um. <clears throat> oh, there is one thing I forgot to tell them about the meat. When you, when you guys are getting ready to do your meat, if you leave it in the refrigerator right before you season it, the colder the meat is when it goes into the smoker, the longer it takes to heat up. Now, meat will only absorb smoke until about 135 to 150 degrees. So if you can put your meat in colder, it'll absorb most more, more smoke. Don't do that room temperature thing. Put it in cold. <laughs> Okay. The baby pigs are having a fit in there. They're cooped up and they do not like it. They miss being free range. <laughs> well, they got, they got, they got homes new homes. <laughs> new homes because they have purpose. Yeah, they go feed somebody. They're going to end up in someone's smoker, aren't they? I shouldn't have said that. Oh dang! Shoot dang! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I Everybody, everybody's been saying I it's know. hard to, it's hard not to say it. It kills me. <laughs> I don't want to be like a ball. I wasn't even there for that, so I feel like I'm. Behind. You've seen on all the videos. Yeah. Yes, our daughter has turned to drugs, and that's why we have our baby Autumn now. So sad. Oh, prayers for your family, Pafford Homestead. Yes. Oh my goodness, that's tough. We don't, we're not raising grandbabies, but we have one that comes and stays a lot. Like um, you know, just to help my son and his wife. They have three, so we have three grandbabies, and it can be very tiresome when they're young like that. Pepper, we'll definitely keep you in our prayers. We'll, we'll be praying for your daughter. Um, I know what God can do in that because I've lived it. Yeah. So. And you know, there's a lot of girls in the jail that would um, their their hearts cry would be that they want to get their kids back. Um, so it's not that they don't want to; they just can't 
they can't get out of that life. Yeah, it, it's hard. It's hard. You have to have a will to, you know, want to. It changes your mind so much. Yeah, makes you new, a different person. Did our website go down? I don't know. It says you website down. I don't know. Uh, no, we. She didn't let them out again. No, I didn't let them out again. <laughs> I don't. I don't open it. I just let him feed and water them. Um. Uh oh, it's just yes, it is. I think they meant the target. Oh man, it changes. Yeah. Um, we should probably jump off here though. We've been yeah. on here for a while. I'm on pan around. It's really smoking, y'all. Can you see it? Doing good. Mm -hmm. It's doing real good. Oh yeah. Probably open the vents a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I got some sewing to do, and then I got to go get the kids from school. I went to get my grandson this morning, and they were still asleep, so Jonathan didn't go to school today. But then they're out all next week for um, Thanksgiving break, so. Learning anyway. Yes, and my wife went back to work, so it's me taking care of her now. Oh, that's, that's tough because I know that um, men are capable, totally capable of doing it. Um... But Patrick gets frustrated. <laughs> you know, it's it's a chore. Sean lives in Kansas. Crystal just came back. Hey, from I Kansas. went to Kansas. I was camping down there. You, you're in Lebanon, Kansas. Right? Yeah, at the geographical center of the U.S. Mm -hmm. Just praying for the country. Kansas would be like a dream hunt too. Yeah, I think you're talking about that. Mm -hmm. It's it was windy. It was windy down there. Well, it depends on what. There's flat Kansas and then there's good Kansas. It's like oh. Oklahoma. The further you go out west, it becomes all flat and prairie-like, like the songs. Like over well, here, you know what? But but it was it was pretty because you would see like different areas. So it was like rolling kind of like the the land was rolling hills a little bit. It was pretty. And I can see the panther in the background. <laughs> the panther. There goes the chickens. It's all bad. No, it's all bad. <laughs> okay. My son is at Fort Seal. Fort Seal. Have I heard something about Fort Seal recently? I can't remember. Oh. I don't watch a lot of the news. I only get updates on my phone. Black Hills, South Dakota. Hey, we ministered and we went to Wagner, South Dakota we for through, three years. We, in, we went through Black Hills. Yeah. We went up to uh, Wounded Knee. Uh, oh, what's that place called? We were in Wagner. It was where a big battle happened between the Native Americans. Oh, when he took us on that trip? Yeah. Yeah. There it is, Crazy Horse. Yes, thank you, Sean. Yeah. What state, y'all? And we're in Texas. We're in Oklahoma. We are right next to the Arkansas border. Yep. We cook like Texans. <laughs> if you guys know the Crockers, we're like 45 minutes from his place. <laughs> that's why our land looks like his land mm -hmm. sometimes in our videos, because it's all the yeah. same woods. <laughs> and that's why we understand his internet issues, because we had land there, and we that was one of our reasons for selling. Yeah, we did have we land there. Get internet and when your wife works from home, you kind of need it. Yeah, at the time I was working as a remote medical coder. I did that for many years. And then they outsourced and shut my department down. So I haven't uh, done that in a year, but. Bushcraft was in Job Court in Nemo, South Dakota. Wow. We didn't go to South Dakota this year because, of, of course, the virus shut, shut that shut down. down. But. Um, Everybody was shut down. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got a lot of service members. That's that's awesome. Hello. Yeah, that is awesome for today. Barbecue and it's just like the American way. I was praying that you know um, we'd get back to the roots of like what the four found, you know, like the forefathers founded um, us on. In this place with Sean, he's coming to the next meetup, so he's. You know, oh, he'll awesome! Probably, um, actually, you won't because it'll be in prior again, right? It's yeah, I believe so. They haven't. Here officially announced like they've set yeah. a, a tentative date um but yeah we plan to be there and patrick didn't get to go to the last one i did 
but I definitely want him to go next time. Yeah, I am going to... My battery's about to run out at the 27%. I am, I am going to go to the next one. Uh, since Crystal spilled the beans earlier for everybody. I that, tried not to. We are going to be, we're going to bring a barbecue trailer. Well, I think it's going to be the concession trailer, right? What, that's well, what if, we're bringing. If I get it done, my, my goal is to rebuild it just for the meetup. Yeah, and hang out the night before because and cook. <clears throat> after I bought it, I found a whole bunch of damage on the underside that I didn't know was there or I wouldn't yeah. pay for it. Which we have a playlist if anybody's interested about our, like, journey through that. <laughs> It was rough in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, Bushcraft family is out looking for land. He uh, oh, he did a video and he was looking at some land, but there was like some kind of plant in the background, the noise and stuff. And uh, where's you? Where's like in this area? No, he's no. Not this, no. So I hope I'm living down there by then. Awesome. Yeah, we're like an hour, over why, an hour away from prior. I don't know why that comment was censored, because it says C-section. Hmm? YouTube's crazy. It. I had to click show or hide on Sean's comment. Oh, that's weird. Uh, in this place with Sean. I need to say his whole name so everybody. Yeah. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna tag you guys in this video when we, when she uploads it. I think. So we're going to tag Bushcraft, In This Place with Sean, and then Pafford Homestead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can uh, do that. I'm in Ohio, but I want to live in Oklahoma or Tennessee. Oh, you want... Yeah, it's beautiful here. Um, I've only been yeah. to Tennessee a couple times. The, the good thing about here is you won't have all that crazy cold that you get up in Ohio. Yes, like, like May said, it's, 22nd. Like it's November 20th, and it's 70 degrees. Our grow season is really long. Uh, bushcraft and if you can get past that frost yeah like if yeah. you cover your plants yeah because it'll, it'll you'll have like a week a weird week come in october where there'll be a hard frost and it'll be cold for like a week and then all of a sudden you're back into spring weather the panther wants in so bad <laughs> he's waiting he's he's waiting right there he wants to go yes. in may 22nd was the last thing <clears throat> he's waiting for us to go he's in waiting. so he can run in so we're gonna have we'll have the barbecue trailer there, and my my plan is turkey legs. I want, yeah. I want to sell them at a hundred pounds of turkey legs. Well, you know the selling part, we were gonna do donations. We weren't actually yeah. gonna sell because we were wanting to give back to the church. Yeah. Um, that was kind uh, of the plan. I was thinking about also doing like a a rib giveaway. Has anybody else heard about who else was gonna be there? Is anybody? I don't know. I think it's really mostly up, still in the works. You yeah. Know, it's kind of kind of out there. Because he was talking about, you know, having vendors come in, so. Man, I don't know. I, I've not been to Tennessee. We need to head. We went through there a couple times. I've been there, and then I went with you because we stopped at Memphis when we went to visit Sharon. Oh, that's right. We had um, was, went to visit another YouTuber, and she lived in Memphis Alabama. Cool. And we drove through Tennessee, through Memphis. We went to Bass Pro. <laughs> yeah, got to do that. We did. We drove straight up there, and we come right back. Like, that's how much time we had to go visit her. She was sick. No, yeah. her husband was in the hospital. <laughs> and then the second time we went, we went to her funeral because she had passed away. So. We're rocking right up there. Yay. We're doing. We're rocking 250. The people are so much nicer in the South. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> uh, my family's from Oregon, so... He's not. He's a yeah, transplant, y'all. I was born. He's a transplant. Come on. But we've been north a few times, and but we did run into some rude people. Now, there is some rude people everywhere. I mean, but mo mostly the South is just better. Especially South Central, where yeah. we're at. Babe, my battery's going really low. <laughs> I'm afraid it's going to lose out. Might be too far out to plant a yeah. lot, especially with the state of everything. Right? Yes. So it's in the works. So we yeah. we plan yeah. it. If it don't happen, then the next time, right? If it, if it don't happen, we'll just set up the trailer somewhere and let people come there. <laughs> we'll social distance with turkey legs. Oh, yeah. That's what shut the barbecue trailer down back in May, March yeah. when all this happened. Um, we just shut yeah, it down COVID. the we meat got too beans. expensive and oh, people were you we're, know 
to, scared. To buy one brisket was $130 yeah. down here. Can't make money on that. Can't make money on it. Paragon Ridge is going to be there. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, on the turkey legs, I'll be brining Hey, the finding day happiness and all you do. Hi. Hello. Depends on the area. The folks I met in the Black Hills were super nice. Mm -hmm. I think it does. I think it's the culture of the place that you're in. Uh, we, we try to be nice around here. They're, I mean, yeah. And, and that really is something we, we don't need to look have, at. I mean, we live really around is. some great people. Yeah. I mean, if we need help, yep. if we ever needed help, we have people we could call on to help us. If it got that bad, you know, there's yeah. talking lockdown and all that stuff. But anyway, we won't talk about that. But if it come bad, we have well, people that would help the, us. The only thing about lockdown is my job's considered essential because we make a food product. So. And you know what? I'm okay with being locked down because I'm already locked down. I'm at home. Yeah. I work from home. <laughs> <laughs> My kids are at virtual school. Yeah. We'll survive. Yes. We'll be all right. Well, I think it's about time to close this down. Yeah. The battery's dying. Yeah. I appreciate you guys coming you on. Guys. Oh, the hair of the eyeball. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, thank you guys for. <laughs> you can see it. We set up a Facebook group in Kansas where farmers can sell directly to the consumer. Oh, we, interesting. We tried to do that here, but it just didn't work out so well. That's um, cool. There's one place in the next town where they sell. It's like a local place. They have a little storefront, but that's really good. That's a good idea. I help my husband with our business from home, and he's considered essential because he has two escort trucks to their destination safely. So it's a hard situation in all. Yes. We're going to survive, right, guys? We are survivors. Shop Kansas You guys have fun with the smoker tonight. Yeah, y'all, pray for me because I got to man the smoker. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to mess things up. <laughs> Luckily, all she has to do is just add wood every 30 to 45 minutes. <clears throat> keep the temperature, right? Keep, keep the temperature. You me spritz it or do anything? Yeah. I know we spritz it, but. Yeah. We'll be spritzing with apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I appreciate you guys coming on. And everybody that has been in the service or is serving now. Thank you. We love you guys and we thank you. And uh, God bless and be safe. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with us. Wait. Wait, one more. How close to Kansas border? About three hours. We're three hours from the border. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Short drive. Yeah. Wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah, I keep almost pressing it and you say wait, so I'll just hang on. I want to get a small one for the boys. That would you could get one about fifty uh, bucks, right? One of the little um, no, smokers. Not, don't even do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. It, you know, it'll make you hate smokers. <laughs> but yeah, I did my mom. Uh, get she like burnt a, a brisket. Like an Oklahoma Joe's offset. That way you can use charcoal, and instead of using like split wood, you'll use chunk wood. I just need to do a video. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. I do. Because yeah. my mom bought one and tried to smoke a brisket and totally burnt yeah. it up because she didn't know what she the, was doing. The, now called, she hates it. They call them bullet smokers. It, unless you really know how to run a smoker, those things are a nightmare. But you used one for a while, though. Yeah, I made a lot of bad meat. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, yeah, I will, I will, I will thank do you. a video thank on, you, thank you. on setting up a, a small offset smoker. Um or how to turn a grill into a smoker. So, But yeah, like the Oklahoma Joes, or if you go to Academy and get like their Brazos, that thing is amazing. And they have a cheap, they have one, I think it's like $379. That thing is, I would like to get one of those for our front porch <laughs> because that would be our family cooking one. Because <laughs> you use charcoal and then you use the small wood chunks that you buy in a bag at mm. Walmart. Yeah, those are easy. Yeah. Okay, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna close it down because my battery's really getting low. Right. Thank you guys. And God <laughs> Thank bless. you guys. We'll see you on the next video, and please hit the like button. Yes. And subscribe. Bye y'all. Bye everybody. <laughs>